uh, Rudy Janovich was saying that he he likes being around your team because he can see you and everything mm -hmm. they do. He can see the the clear mm -hmm. overall vision. And St. Mary's coach said something similar after that game. I mean, is that what you admire in, in other programs when when you see you know sort of the, you know that clear vision that you know coming from the top? Well, good, bad, or indifferent, every team's gonna be known for something. It's not always gonna be good. Won't always be bad. Um, but if you're not quite sure, it's usually bad. So I have a one foot, one foot, one foot in, one foot out. If you got one foot in, one foot out, you got both out. That means you're not in. You know. Um, so co coaching is not a negotiation. There's nothing to discuss. Here's how it's going to be. Um, um, the buy-in comes from the quality of kids you recruit. You know, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people that don't know um, whether they're on foot or horseback. I've got a lot of people question our recruiting over the years. So I, uh, there's, you know, I, I don't know, if I, I, say so, I say so much sometimes I forget what I say. You know, you got people that deal in opinion and people that deal in fact. People that deal, deal in opinion have zero effect on me. What are they talking about? Opinion has, opinion means nothing. Now facts, I pay attention uh, to facts. So when I coach um, my team, I coach them the way I want them to play. And then the kids I recruit, I recruit the kids that I think can be coached to play the way I want them to play. Uh, I, I, you know, I haven't seen them a whole lot. I watched a lot of film on them uh, uh, today. Uh, the best player is uh, actually Raymond Felton's uh, nephew, uh, RJ Felton. Mm -hmm. He's uh, Played last year, he's gone from averaging three or four points last year to averaging over 15 points a game uh, this year. He just flipped the point guard. He got a 6-5 point guard. He's got a really good assist to turnover ratio. Um, their bigs are all interchangeable. Um, their five can play the four, and their four can play the five. Uh, their best three-point shooter is probably their four-man, uh, Johnson. Um, the thing that impresses me, I think the most, one of the most difficult things for a new coach to do is get his, his new team to buy into him. You know, you can always tell buy-in just by how hard his teams play, um, and they play hard. Um, coach Schwartz, um, you know, one of my best friends um, in this business for 35 years has been Rick Barnes. And uh, Rick told me about Coach Schwartz, and um, uh, after he after they hired him, <clears throat> Rick called and told me what a great hire it was and what a great job he's, he's going to do. And, um, so one of the things I watched today was they played Cincinnati. And Cincinnati was up 65-49 with around 10 minutes to go. And uh, East Carolina won the game. It's about two weeks ago, which is, I think is a testament to Coach Schwartz uh, building a culture there of uh, uh, don't quit, keep fighting. I mean, that's, a, that's a great thing for his team to uh, learn. He's been rewarded by it. You know, I, I remember our first year. You know, we were in some of those games, but some of those games weren't close. Um, but he's doing good. I mean, he's he's doing much much better uh, than we did our first year. Um, but I'm I'm excited for East Carolina's long term uh, because of uh, Coach Schwartz and uh, job he's done. He's